Good evening and welcome to the third installment. Today I want to talk about beliefs and how important they are in controlling your health and physiology. You see, the drug companies know this very well. So do all marketers out there today. They know how to get to you, to get you to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Number one, buy their product and or stay on their channel. You see, the human brain is a very negative brain. There's a conscious brain and an unconscious brain. The unconscious brain is very negative. It needs to be negative because it's there to protect you so that you survive. It's not there to make you thrive and to feel all kinds of amazing things. It's just there to keep you alive. <clears throat> so when you look at uh, part of the conversation that I had before is that your body has 50 trillion cells and inside of every cell there's a nucleus. So that nucleus has your DNA in it and you are not a slave to your DNA. It's not turning on and off by itself. It is not the brain of the cell at all. Matter of fact, the nucleus responds to somebody that's talking to it and the person that's talking to your nucleus is your cell membrane. So the cell membrane is picking up signals from the environment and translating a signal to your DNA, asking the DNA to please make some proteins because it's the proteins within the cell that create all the functionality of the cell itself. And because you're 50 trillion cells, all of the action at the cellular membrane depicts where your life is actually gonna go. We call this epigenetics. So <clears throat> I want you to think of this. What you know about life, whatever your beliefs are, those beliefs produce chemistry in your bloodstream which affect your cells and affects whether they will produce genetic proteins which are good for you or proteins which are bad for you. It depends on your belief system. And listen, our belief systems have been set up early in our lifetime. We buy into something and we live a lifetime associated with it. And immediately when we see or experience something as a negative belief, your brain starts to secrete chemistry into the bloodstream, which then sits around your cells, and what does it do? It's gonna stimulate the cell membrane to tell the nucleus to produce inflammation proteins. You're gonna get sick. Yeah, this doesn't happen overnight for a lot of people, but it can happen slowly over time and really wreck you. But let me give you an example about the power of this brain and how amazing it is. So, when it comes to belief and emotion, by the way. So, I was, um, reading a research article about a young man who had multiple personality disorders, disorder. So one day he's with a psychiatrist and he's drinking orange juice. And the orange juice is delicious, he's enjoying it. And during their conversation, he then switches to his other personality. And when he becomes the other personality, he immediately goes into an allergic reaction, a very dangerous one called anaphylaxis, which makes it difficult for him to breathe. And he almost dies there in the uh, psychiatrist's office. <clears throat> but while he's in major pulmonary distress and he can't breathe, he simply switches back to his quote unquote normal personality and everything stops. You're like, what? How can that be? <clears throat> you see, it's the same brain. It's the same body. But it depends on what that body believes and who's inside there. So in this particular case, you change the belief or you change the personality type and immediately you change the body. This is what happens in Hollywood when the finest actors out there, some of those people that are making $20 million a movie, why do they get $20 million a movie? Because they know how to become the character. And as they become the character, they believe they're the character, they practice the accent, they lose lots of weight to become somebody or they gain weight. This is what they do, they actually transform their mind which then transforms their body. You have to understand that what you believe, your operating system, the thing that makes you go, that will depict whether you're healthy or whether you're not healthy. And you might say, well, what happened to like all the other pieces to the pie, doc? Like I'm eating well, I'm sleeping well, I'm working out, I'm drinking water, blah, 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 blah. Yes, those are amazingly important too. Don't get me wrong, but you already knew that. You knew those make you healthy, but did you know that your thoughts can either make you healthy or they can make you sick. There was this, I, I was reading a book by Lisa Rankin. Um, she does some TED Talks, you should check her out. She's pretty cool. She wrote a book called um, Mind Over Medicine. And she describes this gentleman <clears throat> who was within just a couple days of dying. And 
He wanted a special drug that he knew that was on the market that might help him with his type of disorder. So he had this uh, cancer that was literally coming out of his skin. He had these, you know, macules and papules and pus-like stuff all over the place. He was definitely ready to go. So he asks his doctor and he says, listen, I want to take that new drug that's out called Krebiosin. The doctor goes, you know, I can't give you that drug. He goes, why not? He goes, it's part of an experiment. It's an experimental drug and it's part of a, a, um, a study. So he says, well, put me in the study. He goes, I can't put you in the study because you have to live at least three months so that we can monitor its reaction and you're not gonna make it three days. So the guy got really upset and eventually the medical doctor said, give him the Krebiosin. He gives him the Krebiosin on Friday in the hospital. The guy's a mess. <clears throat> Monday comes, the doctor returns thinking that the patient would have passed over the weekend and there's the patient running around the hallways feeling like a million bucks. It's like, what? What happened? He says, doctor, this Krebiosin's unbelievable. It worked like a champ. This guy's really excited. And within just a few months, all the cancer's gone. It's like, wow, it actually worked. Unfortunately, on the news, there was a segment on Krebiosin that said, it's highly suspect that it doesn't work, that the method of action doesn't hold up. What happened? The guy got sick all over again. It happened immediately. Within 24 hours, he started to return to the same cancerous pathology that he had months and months before. So the doctor said, you know what, get, it, get, the, get the patient to come back. So the patient comes back in. He says, listen, I know that they said that Krebiosin doesn't work uh, and that there's still more research that has to be done, but I've got the best Krebiosin anywhere in the world. I actually have the non-generic form and we're gonna rock with this. Are you up for it? That guy was like, yippee! So now he's fired up and he gets this new Krebiosin and guess what happens? Same thing. Everything goes away. He feels like a million and a half bucks. The body heals itself. The only problem was the doctor didn't have a new Krebiosin. All he had was saline solution. So he started injecting the man with saline solution. And the man believed, he believed that he was taking Krebiosin. He believed that Krebiosin would affect him. And what happened to him? He did unbelievable until six months later, when the Journal of the American Medical Association came out and said that Krebiosin is now being removed from the market, it doesn't work, it's completely failed all its trials. What happens? Immediately starts developing cancer and is dead in just a couple of weeks. It's like, wow, the power, <clears throat> the power of belief is unbelievable. You have to decide what you wanna believe. What your beliefs are today are either getting you where you wanna be or they're holding you back. And these drug companies and these marketers, they know this. They're trying to shift your beliefs. Listen, if you watch TV at home, don't you see you know drug commercial after drug commercial every day that you watch it, especially now during the Olympics, they're all over the place. What's going on there? Are you really gonna ask your doctor about these drugs? Highly unlikely, and they know that. All they wanna do is to keep working on your belief mechanism. They want you to recognize that the only way to true health is through pharmacology and they have the answer for you. They have the answer. They're gonna give you a drug that's gonna affect your DNA because somehow it must be damaged, which it's not. We've already recognized that, you know, less than 5% of the people out there, it's probably even less than that, have any genetic damage or any uh, abnormalities to their DNA. So you are either in that 5% or you're in that 95% that don't have that. When in reality, they're just trying to work you, man. They wanna work you like crazy, day after day after day after day, the same drug commercial, until they wear you down and they change your belief. Instead of realizing that health is exercise and community and joy and prayer and spirituality and all those things, they don't want you to know that. There's no money in that for them. They're like, listen, you need to believe that if you don't take this drug that you're going to die. And then they train medical facil uh, facilities to you know, pretty much run on the same paradigm. So your doctor may say to you, listen, if you don't take this cholesterol lowering pill, there's a good probability that you're gonna die. So you had to give up the control. Now you have this in your head that it's possible you could die and you've shifted your belief and now you become a great little consumer of medication. And of course that could be used over all facets in today's marketing world. 
you know, whether it's a, a hamburger or whether it's Doritos, it, you know, the stuff that's on television is crazy. They're working hard to simply change your belief mechanism. Once they change your under, uh, underlying operating system, then they got you. Then you're going to follow through. The problem in the medical world for pharmacology is they don't want you to get healthy on your own. They don't want you to know that your genes, your genetics, which, which create the proteins which make you happy or healthy are literally driven by what you're thinking about and your beliefs. When a person believes, they begin to secrete hormones into the bloodstream which are consistent with their belief. So if you believe the worst, you're gonna get sick. If you believe the best, the probabilities are that you're not gonna be sick, that you're gonna overcome your problem. And there's no money in that, get it? There's no money for anyone when you get healthy on your own because of a phenomenal belief mechanism that you have, that you've created because you want to be great. You don't want to take medication. You want to make sure that you can move forward in life and have great health. Great health is predicated on great belief mechanisms. You become what you think about and your physical body will become a reflection of that. That's how you beat the drug company. They're a big fish in an ocean where you are just a little guppy. And if you really, truly wanna be healthy, change the way you think, increase your potential, your belief mechanism, that everything will be okay, that you are amazing, that your body can heal itself. And you will see that your brain will shoot hormones into the bloodstream, which will encapsulate your cells. Those cells, will then activate the nucleus, which is nothing more than a, uh, a cookbook, and you'll start cooking up all kinds of healthy proteins for your cell. Then your cell works like a champ. People can get well like that when they change their beliefs. But if their beliefs are turned in the wrong direction, they're gonna get sick like that. It happens every single day. The question is, who do you wanna be? Do you wanna be the person who gets whipped by this conglomerate that wants to just make money or I, that person who just wants to turn a blind eye to most of that and just live a great life with tremendous beliefs. I'm not saying, by the way, that you shouldn't use medicine. I firmly believe in the medical society, but I don't believe in the drug company that's just simply trying to shift your belief mechanism so that you stay on board and continue to take medication. And we know that medication can cause serious damage. <clears throat> I'll give you one little tidbit from the drug company before I let you go, that those cholesterol lowering pills, which are garbage, they're garbage. They provide 3% or uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The effectiveness of those pills to provide any positivity to you is less than 3%. And yet they can cause up to 28% damage in your body. That's the probability. You got a 28% chance of getting damaged from those drugs and only a 3% chance of ever getting anything positive from them. So what the hell would you take them for? Because they make you believe that if you don't take them, you'll die of a heart attack or a stroke. And that last year, <clears throat> more than 50% of the people that died of a heart attack in America had normal cholesterol levels. You see, they wanna keep changing the story and messing with it so that you have no clue and you have no recourse except to take the medication. $38 billion a year per company on just that one medication alone. And you're the guinea pig running on the wheel like a rat in a cage sitting in a, uh, in a laboratory somewhere. Don't do it. Start working on your belief mechanism. Know that you can. Each day, get up with a great attitude and spill those amazing chemicals into your bloodstream that will encapsulate each cell, activate your nucleus to produce anti-inflammatory chemicals and watch your body soar find out, you'll find out really rapidly just how amazing you are when you improve the quality of your belief mechanism. So there's my rant for the last three videos in a row. And I hope you get something from this, that you understand a little bit more about how the human body works. And leave me your comments in the, uh, in the field below. I, I would appreciate it. Um, also, if you think of it, maybe uh, you could share this message with some other people. And of course, um, liking me would be kind of cool too, or subscribing to it so we can build a bigger audience and I can tackle more interesting topics that will help you uh, navigate through a difficult world to get an amazing life. Okay, this is Dr. Pete for Dr. Pete TV and I shall see you soon.